Oh man, we got some dope news. What is going on, everybody? How are y'all doing? Before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up, bro. We have a couple, a couple of dope gaming news items for this video. And the first one, a must own must buy must experience ratchet and clank for the playstation 4 it has gotten a playstation 5 upgrade 60 frames per second and the reason why i'm telling y'all this now is the game is about to no longer be free after tomorrow and so the game is free to march 31st do yourself a favor check out this game if you're wondering what all the hype is about ratchet and clank rift apart launching um june 11th on the playstation 5 play this game this was my favorite game on the playstation 4 the game was amazing gameplay story everything about the game was just fantastic it has a 60 frames per second ps5 upgrade i tell you man I stopped playing games at 30 frames, man. You, you, you definitely feel the difference. And so, go and check out this game. Highly recommended, Ratchet and Clank. That's the first news item. The second one. Viva la Vita. Long live the Vita. For a couple more months. Sony. Remember, I, I reported on this a couple days ago rumored that these stores were closing and i'm going to give you a grand hypothesis why they're closing right now why the timing right now first sony has confirmed that the playstation store access for playstation 3 playstation vita and playstation portable games are going to be ending this summer PlayStation 3, Play, this has been officially confirmed by Sony. PlayStation 3, PlayStation Vita stores close August 27th. PlayStation um, Portable stores uh, remain until July 2nd. Why now? This is what I'm thinking. These games from these stores, there has been, it corroborates with that big rumor, Sony is about to reveal full backwards compatibility on the playstation 5 with playstation 3 2 1 and even all the portable sony is about to make the playstation 5 backwards compatible with their entire library now the big question is how are they going to roll out these um legacy playstation games they may start including them in your PlayStation Plus subscription, that's one way. They may do it like Nintendo's doing it. Um, have a section um, uh, because they already have a PlayStation collection section um, uh, for if you're a PlayStation Plus member. This could be one way where they counter Game Pass where you go to the, your um, PlayStation 5 user interface, the whole menu, and there's a section that says playstation collection and bam you have all of these classic playstation games in one location i think that would be dope and a great way to counter um what both nintendo and microsoft is doing more incentive to be a subscriber to playstation plus and so that's why i really think they're just not gonna take away these games nah nah you can't play these games anymore they're a business, bro. There's a mo there's a money motive. Wherever there's a motive, there's money behind it. And so 
there's a lot of classic games like the portable little big planet game um 3d dot heroes playstation all-star battle royale uh, more than likely will be available which is going to be lit bro and so that's what i think they're going to be doing stay tuned the drama continues bro you see this you think this is actual people check this out bro this is an all new boxing game and it looks insane bro the name of the game is esports boxing club it's going to be a next gen boxing game for the playstation 5 xbox series x no release date but they said um it should be coming out in the next coming month within the next year this game will be coming out and the best looking boxing game i've ever seen in my entire life bro this game looks amazing and so can't wait can't wait i grew up i was a huge fan of the ea boxing games fight night even before then on the sega genesis boxing games and so a uh, all new boxing game will be coming out this is alpha footage but as you can see it looks crazy bro we are approaching hyper realism bro at first when i first saw this footage i like is those are those actual people that they're on um, motion capping for the game no it was the actual game i was like whoa and so keep your eyes peeled for esports boxing club all new boxing game coming to the PlayStation 5 Xbox Series X looks insane. Bro, this next news item is crazy. Monster Hunter Rise has shipped four over four million units in its opening weekend. I'm gonna do this live. Um, Monster Hunter World. I wanna see what Monster Hunter World did on the xbox and playstation this opening weekend monster hunter world opening weekend sales what did they do all right all right sophie all right all right up until the entire ship 66 minute units with 16.8 of those counting for monster hunter world okay and 7.2 for iceborne all right monster hunter world did 16.8 um total it doesn't say what its opening weekend was for monster hunter world but the the bottom line is the game is selling like crazy on the switch i have the game i got my pro controller it's a dope game fantastic game my only issue is and it's the game i'm gonna talk about uh, I can talk about it now. Outriders on the PlayStation 5 launches um, in two days. And going from Monster Hunter World to playing Outriders, I can just feel like a next-gen leap. The frame rate, the graphics, just the user interface. It's a little bit more friendly. Monster Hunter World is a great game, but it's a very Japanese game. <laughs> like, I was in the hub. And I was like, uh, okay. But the sales over 4 million sold. Over 4 million sold. Um, great, 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 great. This is the best um, ported. I want to say port because it's not a port. The best made third-party game on the Switch. Usually third-party developers give the Switch a half-hearted attempt or they don't feel the worth in optimizing the game for the system this game was optimized for the switch and you can tell so great 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 news for monster hunter world and last news item for this video row company on the ps5 officially launches today the game um or if you have a ps5 you've been playing the ps4 version of the game but the ps5 version launches today i will be downloading it i will be playing it with the sponsors 
become a member of the OGC game with your boy. Um, up to 120 frames per second will be on the PS5 version of the game, which should be lit. All right, dudes, those are all the news items for this video. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later